Shauna Enns gave birth to a baby girl named Rosie six weeks ago. She was ready to be sleep deprived, but not isolated. It's very different from when she gave birth to her twin boys. My mom was just there, you know, from, she would be there at five in the morning and I'd be just waiting for her because I'd have been up all night long and she'd come and hold a baby and she'd help us get ready. The same with my mother-in-law and my grandmas. They had a schedule of, how, of like helping me. Some physical distancing regulations have eased in Saskatchewan, but so far the grandparents haven't got within two meters of the baby. It won't change even for Mother's Day. You almost find yourself feeling like really emotional, thinking like, oh, I need my mom. <laughs> you know? That yearning felt so deeply by so many in the midst of this pandemic. Hi, Grandma. Hello. 87-year-old Phyllis Robbins will rely on virtual video chats with her family on Mother's Day. I think it definitely helps mom's mental health. She's, she's lonely. Like most care homes, Sherbrooke Community Centre prohibits visitors. Robin's family is just grateful that staff work overtime to make other connections. Need to see the eyes, need to see mom smile. That makes a world of difference for us. We're going to do a cheers to mom. And they savour every ounce of joy. Yeah, happy Mother's Day, mom. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Mother's happy Day. Mother's Day. This Mother's Day feels different to Michelle Lapointe. The florist says sales are up and messages are sweeter. I'm not an overly emotional person, so I found probably about Monday this week, I think I had cried already three times just based off of speaking with customers and the messages that they've sent. LaPointe lost her own mother four years ago and understands why people crave that personal contact. You want to be able to just hug, like hug your mom, hug your grandma. For now, this mother will focus on who she can hug. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.